so it's barely there. You can barely hear it. It's not horrible, but it's supposed to be more prone once you uh, put headers on the car. Hey guys, how's it going? So uh, today I want to talk a little bit about the Hemi-Tick. Uh, a lot of people say that they have to get that fixed ASAP because the engine's going to break. Well, from countless threads that I have read, numerous reviews, the Hemi-Tick is something natural to the Hemi because of the design of the engine. It uses a push rod system. So you have more parts moving in there. Now if you have a dual overhead cam, you don't have any rods, you just have a cam overhitting the uh, lifters and spacers and everything. And so less moving parts. Well, in a push, piston, push rod system, in a push rod system, you have more parts moving. So you have this rod moving up and down. And it's consistently moving the, um, the rod. So it's hitting the, the uh, lifters and springs and everything, and it causes wear and tear on the car. So eventually you'll hear it, but uh, over time, shouldn't hurt it at all unless you're romping it very hard constantly for 200,000 miles. But uh, I have read new threads where guys have had 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 miles on a car, and it runs fine. So there's no big deal when it comes to the tick. It's natural and normal for a push rod system. So if you guys have the uh, Hemi tick, that's nothing I wouldn't worry about at all. It's, uh, it's a non-concern, I would say. But guys, that's it for this one, short today. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.